I've been looking out for some more bargains on whatnot, and I've got a whole load of parcels. I've been away for a week, and I've just come back. Nina has been taking them all in for me, and I've got a pile of parcels. So I'm going to show you some of the whatnot bargains that I've been picking up. If you want to try out whatnot, make sure you use my link down in the description below, and you'll get 10 quid off your first. Actually, I say 10 quid. It's between 10 and 200 quid off your first purchase. No minimum purchase necessary. You just have to pay the postage. It's basically a free shirt if you can find one for less than a tenner, which, you, as you will see, you often can. Well, have I got any less than a tenner? I've got a few, I think. So let's get some of these open and have a look see what what not bugs got so we'll start with a small one now i have a bad feeling this one actually isn't what this one might be deep off so we'll have we'll have a look oh no here we go now i do own this shirt already but people might know i'm a pompey fan this is a long sleeve white one but it's in really good condition even the uh the silver bits on the side lovely little bit in of, of detail on the top there obviously in the even in the the bit in the collar which quite often comes off is, is still mostly there so you know that's a nice shirt it's Pretty plain on the back but I, I thought you know long sleeve one we'll go for that how much did that come in for i've got the app open here i think that came in for 13 or no just a bit less because it was up before postage about 11 about two pounds 70 postage so 11 quid that came in for that's where the it's faded a little bit it's just the canterbury on the sleeve but i've got pompey shirts the way that's in much worse position uh condition the canterbury pompey shirts by the way are the best you know the material they used in them is is fantastic this might even be a, a player issue style one looking at the material and they're just so comfortable to wear they're nice it's such a shame that canterbury went pretty much bust but yeah there we go it's a pompey away shirt and i think it's 2000 and, uh 9 2010 it's not the fa cup winning year or oh, might be actually now I've got to check. No, we've got job site on the shirt. So it's 2010. 2010. So it's the final year of Pompey in the Premier League. It's the FA Cup finally. All right, we've got another one. Is this one the uh this one this one might be the, the deep up one? But let's have a look. Get it open. Now. Oh, as always, I often chuck in. Well, we've got we've got some stickers here. This is another whatnot. A load of things. Loads here. Loads of stickers, loads of cards. Uh, what do we got? We've got a Barcelona sticker. Look at that. Champions League. 481. We've got Martin Hayden, well, there's two there even. Yeah, uh, Jelson Fernandez. So we've got some Euro 2008 stickers there. Um, we've got a manager Allegri. Look at that. That's I see Juventus match attacks. Just a random selection. We got a corner, a corner of the Czech team. I think it's Petr Czech. So yeah, a corner of the the Czech team. Of course, be Petr Czech. We've got a uh, Leighton Baines match attacks. What season would that be? It doesn't give me a season. Does it not say the season. Doesn't give a season. Can you play match attacks? Like, does anyone play match attacks? Can you just keep using them? Hatton Benata match attacks as well. I think this is a different season looking at the colours. Peter Lovenkranz match attacks. That's the same season as the other one. Luis, this feels like a different one. This feels more recent. Luis Hernandez. I don't even remember him at... Was he at Leicester? I don't even remember him at Leicester, but... Luis Hernandez. Was he there when they won the when they won the league? He might well have been. Um, Luis Hernandez. And finally... Oh, I th was worried it was... a. Uh, Southampton for a second. Jack Rodwell. Well, anyway, back to the back to the football shirts. I'm pretty sure this is football shirts 101. He normally sticks those stickers in, although I'm not 100 sure. So we'll see. Uh, oh no, this is RB shirts. So RB shirts puts this in. This is La Liga patch on the sleeve. Let's see if you can have a guess what team this might be. Yellow. I have got a yellow team. Yellow, orange, yellow, yellow. I guess it is. I think the light is being uh, it's deflecting it. But there we go. Let's go Madrid. That one came in a bit more. I think I paid 20 for this or 19, 19 quid. I think it was. And then, you know, one or two quid for the for the postage. But we've got Atletico Madrid. It's in great condition. That's a sewn on badge and night tick as well. But I think it's a large, if I remember correct, or a medium. No, it's a medium. Sorry. It's a medium. 21 quid. It's kind of playing Atletico Madrid shirts, but I don't think I own. Do I own any? I don't own any Atleti shirts. So Atletico Madrid. All right, next one. This one is uh, this one is football shirts 101. So let's get this one open. Oh, make sure it hides. Uh, his address on there okay, move my address out of the way oh no he's also sent me a couple of couple of stickers what we got we got some more euro ones Lichtsteiner, corner of the italy team that i've that i've now dropped it's gone let's grab the shirt shirts it's plural let's see if there's any other stickers in there not this time sometimes you get a couple right we have oh we got the corner of the italy team but look at this this is an italy home shirt it's a it, it's a mixed opinions one with like the the, I don't know, it looks sort of like Darth Vader but, or like, or you know, some kind of Star Wars Stormtrooper, but it's uh, I think it's supposed to be like abs or whatever or muscles, uh, but the old Italy badge on there, Puma on the back we are the uh, we are the blues it's a, yeah, it's a nice, oh, it's a nice design on the back as well I've never seen the back, it's like a spy 
So yeah, a- another Italy home shirt for my Italy shirt collection. Look at that. And that came in. Let's see if I can find out how much I got that for that one for. That one came in at 15, 15, not bad. And alongside that, I bought for, uh, I think about 10. Let me see. Yeah, 13, 13, this one came in as. And we have a South Africa home shirt as well. Now, I was looking this up, trying to work out what this one was. The badge is obviously on the left on this, and the badge is kind of a plain one. But I think it's the 2010 uh, fan kit. So 2010 football shirt, but with they did like a, a fan edition sort of. But it's, got, it's still got some nice details on it. Um, it's it's similar to one of the later shirts, but the later shirt has the badges like the other way around. So yeah, we, I got my first South Africa kit. Okay, here we go. This is another football shirt. It's 101 one. Um, a little bit wet because it was out in the rain. Thankfully, the uh, every driver. But let's open it up. There's a couple in here. Uh, hopefully, they didn't get wet, but we'll soon find out. All right, let's start with this. Okay, uh, this I won, I believe. It is Quebec scarf. There you go. I won a scarf. So, not bad. Next up, we have this is an old one. Uh, oh, France sort of training top. It's got like weird panels down at the bottom here that don't like quite look like they're, they're like cut in, in in a weird way but yeah that is a sort of france training top oh i've just noticed a hole in the back so i'll have to check on that one in fact a few in fact i don't know if it's supposed to be like that perhaps no i don't think so we'll, we'll check that one out um so france training top that one came in at 13 13 pounds but i'll i'll have a look at that one uh, we do have some more stickers these look like question of sports stickers lloyd honey and Tony Knowles, there we go. And a uh, shiny Romania badge. And Montreal Impact jacket. Now that is nice, I like that. Look at that, it's thick, it's got a nice uh, sewn badge, Adidas, stripes down side, nice pockets on the across the back. Impact Montreal, good condition that as well. That's nice. And that I picked up for 13 quid as well. All right, next one. This one seems to be in like a folded bin bag. Have a look. It is in a bin bag, but I don't mind. It's a nice shirt. This one was a uh, a Depot purchase. It was Shell, I think that's the name of the team. It's a, it's a Mexican team. Nice shirt. There we go. A fact. Still got. It must have been. It, don't, it can't have been worn. No one would have worn it with that still in there, right? If it focus. With the tags still in there. So it looks like the tags have just fallen off, really. This must be pretty much new. I would sniff it, but you never know. I've got a bigger one. <laughs> Bigger sack. Maybe don't say big sack. Get this one open. Now oh, he's got a little bit damp, unfortunately. But we have got a Juventus jacket. Check that out. But best thing about this jacket is check out the inside. On the inside, it's got that lovely print. Look at that. It's great. So yeah, Juventus jacket, white Juventus. You know, long cuffs as well. Nice. We have got this RB Leipzig shirt. Now, when I bought this, I think it's a is this a medium or a large? More, I think it might even be a small. It's small, it's quite a decent size. Someone was looking up the prices online, and I think I picked it up for how much did I pick it up for 13 quid potentially? Yeah, 13 quid. And someone looked online and it was about 60 quid online. So, I've done all right there. And the final one this is from the Football Shirt Emporium, guys. The last one, this one is wrapped up side. And this one we also got for around the same as well. This was not much more. Check out that PSG that orange away shirt. Good condition all over. You know, nice in the back of the shirt there. You can see like a nice little Paris written in there. So that's nice. So those three, the last three together come to about, I think about 50 quid. The three of them, which is pretty solid. And finally, I've got a box one as well. So we're going to get the box open. Purple Shirts 101 again. So he sent me some more stickers. We've got Lukaku at Inter. We've got Denzel Dumfries at, at Inter. What are these ones? These ones are like, these are Panini cards by the looks of it. What are they? Optic ones. So in this one, right, we have some Inter Milan tracksuit bottoms, eight quid, not bad. Good for just, uh, you know, sit around the house, whatever. Nice little Nike. See why this one had to come in a box. Look at this, a lovely, look at this Torino jacket. That is nice, I like that. Joma, Torino badge, Beretta on the back, on, on the side, sorry, on the back, there is a print, which is a, uh, Torino FC across. I don't know if that's come off or it's, if it's designed like that. I think it's designed like that. But yeah, Torino FC. There we go. 12 quid for that one, which I think is a is a bargain. Nice. I'll be wearing that. Oh, there's a little, you can see even the Torino uh, bull on the on the sleeve as well. It's nice. To go with my Torino one, I've got a, a Jivova Salernitana one as well. 
the name down here. Javova, Javova on the back as well. But yeah, a nice Salernitana one. The Salernitana one came in 11. And two more, in fact, on this one. Sorry, the Salernitana one was eight. Eight quid for the Salernitana one. We have Olympiakos 2005 shirt. This came in, I think, around 11. Yeah, 11 quid for the Olympiakos shirt. That 2005, not bad. I don't own any Olympiakos shirts, so this will be my first Olympiakos shirt. And finally, we have a VFL Senden shirt, goalkeeper shirt. Look at that. Nice, nice design on it. It's an Adidas template of some kind, but you know what? That came in at, how much was the Senden shirt? 10 quid. Long sleeve, goalkeeper, large. It's nice. So yeah, that was a, a whole load of bargain shopping. I might have to sort out, there was the one shirt in there that I'm gonna have to sort out, but the rest I'm pretty happy with. There's some real bargains in there. But if you wanna check up one off yourself, make sure you go use my link in the description below. You'll get between 10 and 200 quid. I'll get between 10 and 200 quid if you buy something as well. And you might as well because it's basically free cash. You just got to pay for the postage and packaging for the shirt, which is normally about two to three quid. And you're going to enter all the giveaways. You can win stuff. You can win, like I won that scarf. I've won that that scarf there. I've won shirts before as well. I won an Olympiaco shirt recently. So yeah, lots of things that I, you know, I've, I've won lots of other little things. I've, you know, I picked up this Italy training top as well recently. Lots of great little purchases and whatnot. I'm finding it great for picking up, you know, particularly if you get the late, the late stream bargains, you can get some, you can get some really, really, really good stuff on there. So make sure you check out whatnot. Um, if you haven't checked out my other video of whatnot bargains where I got loads and loads of bargains, make sure you go check out this video. I picked up some amazing things in there. I buy a Munich shirt from this season for around 15 quid. You know, it's, it's really good for picking up some of those cheap, cheap shirts.